ये जो टेररिस्ट जो इस्लाम फॉलो कर रहे हैं वो हमारा इस्लाम है ही नहीं वो हमारा धर्म है ही नहीं क्योंकि एक अल्लाह की आवाज है जो हमारी होली बुक कुरान के अंदर लिखी हुई है अगर उसको हम अपना इस्लाम का धर्म माने तो उसमें कहीं पर भी किसी भी जगह पर ऐसा मेंशन नहीं है मैं आपको दो एग्जांपल देना चाहूंगा जैसे हमारा एक सूर्य मोयदा है वर्स 32, 33 और मैं अंग्रेजी में ज्यादा पढ़ता हूं कुरान कि मैं अपने बच्चों को समझा सकूं उसमें बहुत क्लियरली लिखा हुआ है कि अगर आप मेरे एक इंसान को इंसान को मुसलमान को नहीं हिंदू को नहीं मेरे एक इंसान को हील करते हैं तो आप मेरी पूरी मैनकाइन को हील करते हैं अगर आप मेरे एक इंसान को दर्द पहुंचाते हैं दुख पहुंचाते हैं तो आप मेरी पूरी मैनकाइन को ये दुख दर्द पहुंचाते हैं Same he quotes Surah 532 of the Quran uh, to show how peaceful Islam is. He uh, said, "Well, in Islam, if you kill someone, it's as if you killed all mankind." I hear uh, Muslims quoting this quite a bit. Let's read it in context and see what the verse actually says. And we'll read the following verse. Interestingly, the verse Sami quoted is, according to the Quran, a teaching of the Jews, and it actually comes uh, from Mishnah Sanhedrin in the uh, Talmud. But let's read what it actually says, 532, and then we'll go to 533. For this reason did we prescribe to the children of Israel, it's the teaching of the children of Israel, for this reason did we prescribe to the children of Israel that whoever slays a soul, unless it be for manslaughter or for mischief in the land, and read the Muslim commentaries, mischief in the land is violating any of the Jewish law, it is as though he slew all men. And whoever keeps it alive, it is as though he kept alive all men. And certainly our apostles came to them with clear arguments But even after that, many of them certainly act extravagantly in the land. That's a teaching of the Jews. The next verse says, and here's the teaching of the Muslims. The punishment of those who wage war against Allah and his apostle and strive to make mischief in the land. What's the penalty for making mischief in the land, in a Muslim land? Is only this, that they should be murdered or crucified or their hands and their feet should be cut off on opposite sides or they should be imprisoned. This shall be as a disgrace for them in this world and in the hereafter they shall have a grievous chastisement. Now notice what uh, many people do when they quote this. There's a teaching of the Jews. They chop off that part about this being for the children of Israel. They pretend that this is a directive towards Muslims. They ignore the next verse which commands Muslims to violently kill and chop off body parts of people who make mischief in a Muslim land. Well, how do you make mischief in a Muslim land? Apostasy, preaching a, a non-Muslim message, that all falls under the mischief category. 